My name is Eve the Weave. Real quick, like, share, and subscribe. Remember, I was talking about Choke No Joke, and he said something about Miss Bleak in his live just like, what, an hour, two hours ago? This is exactly what he was talking about. Okay. Okay. He had that to say about choke no joke coming at Jay Z basically. So you know, he always was like underneath Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? And the comments in this section is crazy, cause this is what choke no joke had to say. I caught a clip of your podcast on the blog. First of all, let me say that I appreciate you saying that I have always been a good dude for which I am despite what Biggs lying ass said. You showed the world that Biggs is not over here with Jay like he pretends he is. And I knew it when he posted that fake news that Jay Z gave Nip to Hussy kids $15 million and had to take it down. When he found out that it was fake news, just like he's out here acting like him and Dame is cool just to get business. So I commend you for keeping it real. Secondly, I would like to thank you for clearing up that Dame and Jay-Z didn't rock with each other since 2002 by saying that I worked for Dame and not Jay-Z. I, I worked for Rockefeller when I first got there. Even, even when I got jumped, I was working for Rockefeller. To correct you, I did do work for Jay-Z too because... I did projects for him like the Rock the Mic Tour commercial, for example. Once again, you are correct by Dame not paying me because at the time that I left Rockefeller, my checks were being cut to me by Dame Films. Now, to answer your question about why the drama with Jay, well, that is because he blocked me from behind the scenes. Now, I know you are his man, and you're not going to believe it, but I heard he was too, I heard he was too many times, and I never did anything to him. For him to be stopping my money, plus Biggs acting like he's over there at Rock Nation and did that on drink camps. I thought I thought it was Jay again because I never did shit to Biggs. When I did the Breakfast Club, they removed the part of my interview when I talked about him and Charlemagne told me personally that he took it outside because of Jay would block the release of my tunnel documentary, the hip hop nucleus, from coming out. He stayed up at Rock Nation office after a week of my Breakfast Club interview. Not airing. I called Shaka 
And I asked her to set up a meeting with Jay so I can ask him why is he blocking me and Shaka never got back to me. So I assume this all to be true because why wouldn't he talk to me and clear his name? Part two and three in my comments. The comment section is lit. This is part two of what he had to say. Basically, on the so he's at a myth bleak in all his comments. Now, despite you feeling like Jay Z is on a certain level, and I can't talk, and he and can't talk to me, I disagree with you because we both put our pants on the same way. I've never been in this game just and I've been in this game just as long as he has. He's no better than me regardless to what's in his bank account. To the point that he can't talk to me, especially when I didn't press charges on him for what he did to me. I've always kept it solid with him. Plus I met I meet with people with more money than he has. So that's crazy for you to say that I believe he's being even being blocked. I believe he's even blocking me from BT as well with people like Stephen Hill. Wow. Who recently told me I definitely can I definitely can work with her and then she disappeared on me to see that he got Irv a deal lets me know he has influence over BET as well so whether it be directly or indirectly because people feel he has a problem with me Doors are being closed. And I know it's mostly because they want him and Beyonce to do deals with them. Myth Bleak responds, act choke no joke. We got to have a sit down, bro. We could get a lot of this clear. These things clear. A hundred. Um, I'm trying to see. Now, let me go to part shirt three of Joke No Joke. What do you have to say to Myth Bleak? Now, Bleak, I know for a fact that he blocks people because he didn't. He did it to young Chris because I got the phone call and I have the audio to prove it. I didn't want to release it because I know it would make him look like, look bad. Like he's looking now with that, with the Jermaine Dupri NFL deal and this cat, this Colin Kaepernick shit. I'm not trying to make him look worse, but I can release the audio if you if you doubt what I'm saying. So on some so on some level, I'm still showing love. I don't have to disrespect him and tell and telling the truth. It's never disrespectful. But know that I'm not scared of anyone keeping it solid we both have seen him do worse to people that were close to him so from one blogger to another blogger if you follow me you could have just dm me and ask for my number and we could have this conversation over the phone because 
I got love for you. We never had a problem. And we definitely not going to have no problem over another man like we are this. Like we are his two bitches. I'm a man and never need a man to speak for me. So I can never be a daughter. I make babies. So that's definitely doesn't apply to me. Let's talk their phone. And know that you're a big homie, right, wrong, or indifferent. But I'm still willing to rap with you and answer any other questions you have that you may have. One love. That's how he ended his part three. That's how Choke ended his part three. So the reply... To what Meek Mills, Meek Mills, my bad. To what Myth Bleak had to say. And I'm trying to see if it was any. So basically, like he said, just DM me, put your number in there, and we can chop it up on the phone, whatever. But we don't got no beef. That's what he's basically saying. Um... Is this crazy? Is this a lot of craziness going on right now? And Instagram and YouTube, like I said, they always lit. And they always on fire. And I thought this was going to... This should have been over with... This should have been over with the whole Nori and the whole Drink Champ thing. Now it's coming about because, you know, Choke is telling... He's, he's not playing. He's not playing. He's compassionate about what he got to say. He got receipts to show that shit. And he's a man's man. We can meet. We can sit down and talk. But we're not about to do this internet all day with the videos and the, and the typing. We're not about to do this. So that's how that ended. Like I said, if you want to um, if you want to go look at everything I just read. That was a lot. That was a that was a mouthful. That's on the real choke, no joke. And he has a clip of Myth Bleak on the blog talking about the whole situation between Jay Z and Choke No Joke. So basically, he put it on his Instagram so everybody can see it, which did clear up a lot of things that Choke be saying. Like his little story times that he be throwing up on um, YouTube. Like I said, joke, 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 no joke, to me was never a liar. A lot of that tunnel stuff, if you was around for it, you would know about it. But if you wasn't around for it, you better hit your Googles and let that be your best friend. Let your fingers do the talking. Let your eyes do the reading. I'm just saying. Don't just look at the words. Read the words. My name is Eve the Weave. Like, share, and subscribe. Like I said, by 12 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, it's going to be crazy. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. And stop playing. Stop playing. Hit me in the comments, YouTube. Later.